The New Hall Unified School District welcomed transitional kindergarten and kindergarten students on its campuses for the first time since March 2020 Monday morning. We have been preparing for this opportunity since last May, New Hall Superintendent Jeff Pelzel said. We are excited for our students, parents and staff. New Hall will welcome first and second graders on Wednesday then add grades 3 to 6 on March 1, but Monday was all about the little ones. We're thrilled to have students back on campus, Valencia Valley Elementary Principal Amy Godet said. Families and teachers have been waiting since the beginning of the school year, August. I think I saw more tears from parents this morning, Godet added. The weeks consist of 4 a.m. p.m. hybrid days a week, 8 to 10.30 a.m. and 12.30 to 3 p.m., respectively. Adult supervisors are wearing face shields and other personal protective equipment to aid the children in navigation around campus. Godet says there will be 12 students to a classroom, all six feet apart. Children will get physical activity that is instructed and structured anytime a teacher deems it necessary. That physical activity could be outside, it could also be in the classroom. Meanwhile, for the Saugus Union School District, Monday provided more of a high, again, for first and second graders. The Los Angeles and California Department of Public Health allowed schools to provide instruction for small cohorts of high-needs students from September 2020, Hawkins explained. Saugus identified that students who were struggling in grades 1 and 2 were our highest needs students and we provided an opportunity for some of those students to receive some limited support. All 15 campuses in SUSD have had some form of high needs small cohort instruction happening during the late fall and in early February. Soon, Hawkins anticipates high grade levels can return, too. While we have begun with our special education program and our grade 1 and 2 students, we look forward to the coming days when all grades, minus 6 takas, will return to on-campus learning by March 4, she added. Schools that welcome students back need to meet a series of safety protocols, such as limited class sizes and provision of protective equipment, while also continuing to offer a distance learning option to accommodate families wary of sending their children to in-person classes. City News Service contributed to this report.